Well, welcome back to Tech Ninjistics. Uh, there comes a point in every person's life where they want to make a uh, installation USB flash drive out of the OS X uh, 7 installer, perhaps for a uh, clean reinstall of the operating system or for recovery purposes or, or to boot from to run some repair utilities. Uh, if you work in information technology for uh, system deployments on a larger scale. Anyhow, we're going to go through the process real quick, uh, partially via um, slide here, and then I'll show you the actual uh, part of the process in Disk Utility. So the first thing we're going to do is download Mac OS X uh, from the Apple Store. Uh, that's real simple. You pay your 30 bucks, and we've done videos on that. Then uh, you go to the Applications folder, and in the Applications folder there will be um, the Install Mac OS X Lion uh, application. And you right-click on that and choose show package contents and that's going to open up a folder um, and inside that folder uh, you'll see contents uh, and then within that folder shared support uh, within the shared support folder there will be the install esd.dmg and we're going to uh, copy that disk image to the desktop so let's get out of the slide deck here and I'll show you. I, I already installed uh, OS 10, so I don't have install uh, Mac OS 10 anymore. One of the things that happens is is when you actually complete the install on your computer, the install file is deleted from your applications. Uh, let's go to Aperture, though. I'll show you if we can uh, right-click there, and there's Show Package Contents. So you'll do this to the install um, Mac OS 10 app. Show Package Contents. And contents and in there there will be a folder called shared support and then so we just drag uh, the install ESD DMG DMG to the desktop and that's our actual disk, disk image that we're going to burn to a flash drive so what I'm now going to do I have a USB drive plugged in already and I'm going to go to disk utility I'm just navigating to disk utility and uh, spotlight here you can get to it in your utilities folder go utilities and there it is disk utility and the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do is we're going to uh, find our little uh, USB key this is an 8 gig USB key and we'll erase it and we'll use Mac OS 10 or uh, OS extended journaled formatting And name it and we'll erase and this is going to wipe out the entire contents of the USB key so make sure you don't have anything on there that you want now have a freshly formatted uh, line install or a, a, a fresh partition basically and then we're going to click on restore here and we'll select the source and the source will be that disk image and we're going to go to the desktop here we have install the sd.dmg open that and then the destination will be the line install disk partition we just created on our usb flash drive and we'll click on restore Again, it's going to remind you that uh, you're about to erase all the contents of the partition. And you have to type in your password. And now it's going to take a little time and it's going to uh, make a copy of that disk image to your uh, flash drive. And uh, you're going to just have to wait a little bit on that. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. Uh, we'll resume once that copy is done this Mac OS 10 install ESD on the desktop a little flash drive and there are the contents you have the uh, install Mac OS 10 lion uh, launcher basically and and then all the supporting files that would allow you to uh, install Mac OS 10 lion uh, one of the nice things you can do at this point is if you were to reboot your computer while the computer was booting up, you could hold the option key and it would boot you into a uh, menu that would allow you to actually boot off the flash drive um, 
you could install OS 10 at that point. Uh, you could do things like um, verify your disk permissions with the disk utility um, that's running off the USB key. So it's it's a useful tool for a number of different uh, applications, including installing uh, Mac OS 10. And uh, I found that running the installer off the USB key is actually a little faster than even running it off a DVD, uh, although you could actually use the same process and use a DVD as the destination instead of a USB key and it would work just fine. So there it is. Um, one other note is I initially learned of this process through an article at uh, OS 10 daily and I will link that in the video notes. Um, but they give you a good written walk up of the uh, walkthrough of the whole process. Thanks.